you know, these birds are essentially like the lions of the landscape. My name is Nick Lund and I'm the Advocacy and Outreach Manager for Maine Audubon. Eastern Phoebes are, belong to a family of birds called flycatchers, and that's what they do. That's how they feed. They catch flies, usually out of midair. And, you know, catching a fly out of midair is really hard to do. You need to have a specialized eyesight to be able to judge where the, the fly is or the bug in midair, where it's going. And you need to have the agility in your flight pattern to be able to pick it off because the you know bugs don't want to be eaten. They are zooming around trying to avoid you. And you have to be able to stop and start in midair, judge where uh, the bug is and where it's moving, and snag it. And that's what uh, flycatchers do. That's what Phoebes do. They're really good. They sort of have um, sort of blunt feathers. Um, they're not built for super high speed. Uh, they're not built for some of the other specializations that different birds are built for. They are built to identify a bug moving around in midair and have the aerodynamics to follow it, follow it where it goes, pick it off in midair and bring it back to their babies. Once a bird's eggs hatches, it's the parent's job to get those babies fed as quickly as possible so they're big enough to fly on their own. You know, being in the nest is not a very safe place for a baby bird. They're vulnerable to predators and things. And so uh, a parent needs to feed it constantly to give it the strength so it can grow and fly on its own. And what that means for Phoebes and lots of other birds in the summer is feeding it as many insects as possible, especially caterpillars, which are like little protein burritos um, that are uh, plentiful in the landscape in the summer and are a great food for baby birds. It's incredible to think about them basically having one mission for two weeks, which is to get a bug, bring it back to, and to feed their babies, get them back and bring it in. That's, that's all they do. It's all they think about. And this point in the summer, it's a very crucial point. It's actually a, a time of year when sometimes you hear less bird song you know so in early spring you see these birds are are attracting mates they are singing loudly they're defending their territories and then they don't really have time to sing anymore they are flying back and forth they are grabbing bugs and feeding and there's no time to do anything else and so in early june and july some of the bird song actually quiets down because the birds have just other things on their mind other than singing a lot of flycatchers can't be super choosy, right? You're out there and whatever flies by, you can grab. Sometimes it's a small little gnat or fly or something. Sometimes it's a bigger insect like a dragonfly. Um, that's a good sized meal for, for a small bird. Scientists are really waking up to the importance of insects to birds in the, just the past couple of decades. We now know that having healthy populations of insects, especially caterpillars, is crucial if you want to have baby birds. That's what they eat. Uh, and so things that reduce the amount of caterpillars on the landscape can be very harmful to growing birds. Um, that means a couple things. That means pesticides, right? So for using pesticides to kill all the uh, insects uh, on your landscape, you're not going to have. You're simply not going to have the food to grow baby birds. It just doesn't work like that. The other thing is if you have too many uh, invasive plants or non-native plants. So. Insects and plants have this complex sort of arms race relationship where you need to have certain plants to grow certain types of insects. Um, if we bring over plants that have evolved in a different continent or a different part of the world, they may not be able to support the native insects that our birds need. And so planting native plants, plants that are from here in Maine or from wherever you live, support the types of insects that baby birds need. And that's the best way. So keeping your, your backyard free from pesticides, and planting native plants is the best way to provide the insects that birds need to grow. I've been with Maine Audubon for a number of years, but I've been a member since I was a little kid. I love Maine Audubon, uh, and because I love it because I love birds and I love wildlife in Maine, and so does Maine Audubon. That's what we do here, is that we educate people, we advocate, uh, we have scientists on staff, we do everything we can to pr protect and promote Maine wildlife. Uh, we're a great organization, and I get to talk about birds all day. So there you go.